Hi Virgo, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we are doing your reading. So the person on your mind, what are their current feelings for you? We're going to find out. I've already cleansed the space and meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. All right. And to everyone who has, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I'm grateful to each and every one of you. And as my way of saying thank you, I will be giving away one free reading at the end of the month to one subscriber. So I will be announcing the mechanics on how to win that reading during my weeklies, which will be uploaded during the weekend. So stay tuned and I hope you win. I hope you win. Oh, okay. How do you want to receive? Okay, so you have the Four of Swords. Your person's main energy is the Four of Swords. Okay, Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the King of Wands, the Seven of Cups, hmm. the Knight of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and then... Hmm. The Ace of Cups. Two Aces. Hmm. Virgo, your person's challenge for this month. Your person's challenge for this month is the Nine of uh, Pentacles. They feel that you're actually good without them you're actually good being single you're actually good without them you're self-sufficient um very much in pre-empress mode um pre-empress energy um you're very attractive at this time and you're actually good without them that is a challenge they feel that they cannot come towards you because you're actually good without them you don't need them that's what they feel all right um your person's main energy is the four of swords what i'm getting here is they feel that you've really healed from the situation that you've moved on from the situation while them they haven't healed very much they haven't healed very how can i say that they haven't healed completely. They haven't forgotten you. But you have healed from this. That's what they feel. That you have healed from this. But since you are looking in this, uh, you are watching this reading, you know, are you? Anyway, take it how it resonates. You have the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles. They feel that you will just cut them out once, even if they make a solid and stable offer, they feel that you would just cut them out completely and they're out of their, out of your life. They do know that they made a huge mistake in making that, in... How can I say it? They do know that they made a huge mistake about not being too quick and giving that offer. They were very slow to make that offer. And because of that slowness, they cut you cut them out of their life. I'm getting they want to communicate with you also. They want to communicate with you. They want to tell you that, hey, it's you who I want. Is it okay if I come in? Is it okay if I if we work this out again? I promise I'll offer you something more stable and secure. That's what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting. This person is really taking going really thinking of taking action towards you. Um you could have you could think that this person 
was a player with the King of Wands here. Very much a player, you feel. Or someone who cannot commit towards you or to you. But this person feels that they want to have a second chance with you. My judgment card is a card of second chances. This person feels that they want to ask for another chance with you. I'm getting this time they'll be loyal. Because when you when you say the king of wands is someone who's disloyal, it's like you're getting the king of wands in the reverse, all right? But when you get the king of wands in the upright, while I'm getting that energy, they've become a lot more loyal, a lot more mature, a lot more passionate, but very loyal. So this person wants to tell you that they are now loyal. They can be loyal. They can commit towards you. If you give that them that chance, they will commit towards you very loyally. Your person feels like you have a lot of choices. There are a lot of suitors, a lot of people coming towards you. So you have a lot of choices. A lot of people, you know, hitting you up and telling you, "Hey, you want to date? Want to come out? You want to hang? You want to?" You want to come with, come out with, uh, go out with me? You want to hang out? But they know for a fact that they are the only one for you. They are the only one for you. So no matter how many choices you have, they know that you are the only one for them and they are the only one for you. Also, they want to offer you new love. If it's possible to renew, they really will. Let's see the overall outcome of this reading. I feel that I feel the need to sneeze. So if I cut it out, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. So you have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords, and then the Five of Swords. So the overall outcome here is your person is going to come in towards you very passionately. But I'm getting they're going to do a lot more research whether or not they can come towards you. They're going to research whether or not you moved on from them. I'm getting they're going to do their research. They're going to come in very fast and try to feel things out whether or not you've moved on from them. So it's a very selfish energy because I'm getting that if you have, then they'll just, you know, very they'll be very much in and out of your life. The hot the the in and out kind of person. Because they don't want to lose. This person does not want to lose. So they're just going to pan things out whether or not you have moved on from them before they fully commit. If you get what I mean. What is the advice for my Virgo? Advice for my Virgo, please. Oh, decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. All right. Be clear with what you want, Virgo. I know. Spirit knows that you want real love. Something, someone who is true to you. Someone who is your equal. Someone who will never take advantage of you. All right. So you have to see things clearly. You have to decide whether or not this person is the right person for you or if there is someone else out there for you. Of course, there is someone else out there for you. We have a twin soul for every, you know. We have a twin soul. 
all right so yeah decide clearly decide clearly all right what are the other messages for my dear virgos oops okay you have voyage potential and then power all right so let's put it this way So I hope something in this reading resonated, Virgo. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.